data functions allow you to use programming languages such as open source R, MATLAB, and SAS to enhance your analysis. Terra is Typical's enterprise runtime for R. It is a commercially supported and robust platform. Coders or data scientists alike can design their script in the environment of their choosing and then deploy in Terra. Running in the background is RStudio, an integrated development environment for R. This is one of the most popular IDEs in the statistics community. Here I have a simple conversion function from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Although this is easy to accomplish using the insert calculated column tool, it serves as an example simple enough to show input and output parameter handling in more detail. We will copy this for later use, but we also have the option to import data function files directly to Spotfire. In Spotfire Analyst, I imported a small data set of degrees in Celsius. We can register a new data function by going to Tools, Register Data Function. Here we have the option to open data functions already created from the library or to create new ones. I will also provide a name and description for the data function. After pasting the R script in, there is one change we need to make. I need to provide the parameters to the script. X will be the input and Fahrenheit will be the output. Now we need to configure these parameters by clicking on the respective tabs. The input can be a value, column, or data table. We can also choose which data types we want to allow. Now on to the output. Here we just need to select the data type. After configuring the parameters, we now save the data function in our library for future use. With Terra, it is easy to design once and deploy many times. We are ready to run the data function. Once clicking Run, we'll be prompted to map the inputs and outputs that we just created. We will choose the degree Celsius column as the input. When sending or retrieving the data to Terra, the data is sent as a data frame, which can be in the form of a value column on an existing data set, or in this case, a column in the new data set, which is how we will configure the output. Now we can see the new data is available in the analysis. You can start enhancing your analyses today by going to spotfire.tibco.com. If you have any questions, head over to the Spotfire community, where you'll find thousands of people who are working together to solve real analytics problems. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.